we're going to determine if each of these matrices is orthogonal. Recall the definition of an orthogonal matrix. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson introducing them. But we know a square matrix A is orthogonal if its transpose is the same as its inverse, which means that A times A transpose should be the same as A times A inverse, and so it should equal the identity. So to check if these matrices are orthogonal, we'll just multiply them by their transposes and see if we get the identity or not. These examples are from Anton's Elementary Linear Algebra. There's a link in the description to buy the book if you're interested. It is the text that my Linear Algebra series follows, so you might want to pick it up. All right, to check if the matrix A is orthogonal, we have to multiply it by its transpose. And we find that it is orthogonal, because here's the matrix A, here's its transpose, which comes from swapping rows and columns. Of course, it happens to be a symmetric matrix, so it's actually equal to its transpose. And then doing the matrix multiplication, we find that this product does equal the identity, because we would have 1 plus 0, which is 1, and then we would have 0 plus 0, which is 0, and then we would have 0 plus 0, which is 0, and then finally 0 plus 1, which is 1. So A times A transpose is the identity, hence A transpose is the inverse of A, and so by definition, A is orthogonal. Next is this matrix B, and we're going to find that it isn't orthogonal, because once we look at B times B transpose, well, here's B, Here's B transpose, which is found by swapping the rows and columns. And then let's see what happens when we do the matrix multiplication. The first entry is going to be 0 plus 1 plus 1 over root 2 times 1 over root 2. So plus 1 half. So 1 plus 1 half. So already we know that B is not orthogonal, because if it was, this first entry would have to be 1, since it'd have to be the identity. But 1 plus 1 half is not 1. So clearly, B times B transpose is not the identity matrix, and so B is not orthogonal. Finally, we have the matrix C, which we will see is orthogonal. Because here's the matrix C, and swapping its rows and columns, we have C transpose. Multiplying this by this, we'll find that we do get the identity, although it is rather messy. You can try doing the multiplication yourself, and here are the computations if you would like to check your work. The only entry that's really simple is just that first one, because we end up having just a bunch of halves getting multiplied together, so it's a fourth plus a fourth plus a fourth plus a fourth. Obviously, that's four fourths, or one. All of the others are just mishmashes of fractions that either cancel out if they're not on the diagonal, and so they're zero, or they happen to add to one if they are in the diagonal, like this one. One fourth is nine over 36, so this is nine plus 25 over 36, so that's 34 over 36, plus one over 36, plus one over 36, ah, so in total, 36 over 36, that's equal to one. In the end, it does equal the identity, and so, since C times C transpose is the identity, C and C transpose are inverses, so by definition, C is an orthogonal matrix. So that's how to check if a matrix is orthogonal, just multiply it by its transpose, and see if you get the identity. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Linear Algebra course and Linear Algebra Exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Mama. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed